Hi, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create groups in MailChimp. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. If you're looking to organize your subscribers and target specific segments of your audience with tailored content, creating groups in MailChimp is the way to go. Groups allows you to categorize your subscribers based on shared characteristics or interest, making it easier to send relevant and personalized campaigns. Groups offer several benefits for your email marketing effort. They allow you to send targeted campaigns to specific segments of your audience ensuring that your message are more relevant and personalized. By understanding your subscribers' preferences and interests through groups, you can improve engagement and ultimately drive better results. Now, in this situation that we are going to show in today's video, for example, we have no audience. Now, you're trying to build your own group. You're going to have to create a campaign that will specifically target a specific interest of a person and then you would know whoever signs up for that specific campaign, you would know that that will be their specific group. You now know the specific interests of that group of people. Now you could create your segments over here on the left side and you could also add tags over here so that you could categorize them and organize them however you want. Now, what we're going to show you in today's video is, is the creation of a landing page or a sign up form that will help us gather the contact or contact forms of other people on a specific topic. So for example, we're going to do topics that are about a specific product. Now let's say the specific product is about a cell phone. We could create a campaign about that and then we could get whoever enters or whoever clicks the specific campaign, we would now know that whoever is within or whoever or however the contact that we have gathered from that way is now interested in phones so you could create the tags for that so let's create our very first campaign you can simply click on create over here on the top left which would allow you to start creating over here you could choose from a regular email you could choose from emails over here automations website landing pages you could also create sign up forms if you would like it depends on you on how you would like to approach this but for us for example let's go with a landing page over here, let's name our landing page over here. Depending on what landing page name you want, it is completely up to you. But for example, let's follow our situation. Let's say mobile phone information, just random landing page for now. Uh, random name, it's completely up to you on what you would like as a uh, name. Then let's click on begin. Then we will begin to design our landing page. Now, like I said earlier, whoever access our landing page over here, means that they are interested in the topic of the landing page, meaning you would know that that specific group that enters the landing page is interested in that specific section. So now you know whoever, or you now know the specific contacts of those who like a phone, and you could make personalized emails about them. And over here, you're going to have to select a simple template for your landing page. You could choose any of this option that you are seeing right now. For example, you have your lead generation, promote product, promote products again, promote product, promote product, and basically lead generations once again. We could go with the lead generation over here since there is some sort of phone over here. Right now, the templates may include placeholder stock and copy before you could use, you must accept additional term. We could accept this, and let's try using this template over here. And now as you can see, we will be redirected to this editing page. It is very similar to how you create a email. As you can see here, we have your preview in this left side. And you have your blocks over here on the right side. You have the different blocks that you can add. The text, box text, divider, image, image group, image card, image plus text, share, social follow button, and video. The way you handle your information over here is completely up to you. You should design it however you want. It's completely based on your style or based on your techniques. So for example, we have this one. We have this photo over here. We could actually try and drag this instead. We could put it at the top or we could lessen the style over here. You could edit however you want. For example, we don't want this. We don't need specific sections. We're simply going to focus on direct and to the point information. 
going to focus on our phone over here. This is how you are able to delete, by the way, by clicking on the delete icon over here. And you could also edit by clicking this edit icon over here, which would allow you to edit a specific block. But we're going to delete most of this for now, as you can see here. And let's assume that this is clean now, though. So let's remove this, just like this. Remove every other block that I don't want on my page over here, as you can see. We could delete this section as well. And then we could remove this. And just like that, we could remove this as well. Now we have a very simple uh, section over here. Now you could simply edit this. You could double click this, then you could edit the specific sections over here. You could change it to however you want. You could change the background of the image. You could change the font. You could change the style and the settings over here. And you could fill it in with any information regarding the specific topic that we have talked about. My example is a mobile phone. You could edit however it will be presented over here. You can move this to the left side. You could click on our normal over here. You could add a box text in this section. Then you could put it here. It's a box text as you can see here. I think what you could, should do with this one instead is to have two columns. As you can see, then you could have the photo on the other side uh, itself instead. Instead of having it to be on another block over here as you can see. We're going to try and see this. Save. And as you can see, you could do this instead of doing this. You can simply copy the image over here and put it here instead and then have information in this section. Which would allow you to save some space and like have it both in one block as you can see here. But you could add whatever information, whatever you would like to add into your email. And whoever subscribes to this email or landing page that you have created would allow you to categorize the people who have joined this. Now you can simply save and close whatever you have created over here in MailChimp landing pages. And we're going to see you're simply going to send this to different contacts or simply put it on any website or share it to the internet so that you could get as much content or as much subscribers as possible and then you could edit more information over here you could publish this right here or you could finish it later and you could monitor all your campaign or whoever access your campaign over here as you can see when you click on your campaign over here you could edit it once again in this section you could also see it tracking over here right now we're not tracking with mailchimp because we would need to turn it on on our notification bar over here and you can simply do this on different types of category like different types of landing pages with different topics you could also do sign up for us all of those things and you can simply try and filter out the different focus or the different topics that people might be interested in so you would have like the data of what group is this what group is that this group likes this specific topic this group likes this specific topic and then you will be able to create personalized email for a specific group and each of them has their own type and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching